Hey, welcome. It's a great day. I have some of my art on the canvas as we are going to talk about the interface today. And I don't want you looking at a blank screen when I talk about the interface. But I also would be able to make use of this art to explain some of the things in the interface. So it will be handy. It's not just to soothe my ego. So we have pods and panels. The panels that are open are docked. I mean, they're locked into place. So here's the menu bar panel upper left. I'm going to collapse that panel and just quickly show you uh, that you have file, edit, tools, view, help. Uh, so these are the basic things that you would have in any application. So I'm going to look at some of these specifically, uh, not all of them. Um, so here's undo icon, the gray dot one is redo, and here's the canvas positioner. Now that panel opens up and I can use, and green is the highlight color, the default highlight color, so I can click and drag left and right to reduce or enlarge uh, the size of the canvas. And another way to do that is to put the numerical value directly into the menu bar. And that will instantly reduce the size or enlarge it as I see fit. So if I know exactly what I want um, the scale to be, I can put that there. And even if the command positioner is in front, it's translucent so I can still see the art as I go about. I can also move the canvas up and down, around and around. And speaking of around, I can rotate the canvas. Round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. So this is good because it approximates the art paper on the drawing table when I move that around. I could double click to bring everything back to its original uh, position, and then I am ready to go. Okay, let's go back to the menu bar and hide the ArtRage window. Uh, I'm on a Mac, this is also minimized in Windows also on a PC. Uh, let's open it back up. Now let's go and toggle to full screen. Next on the list. Uh, toggle again, it goes to less. Toggle back, go to full. Toggle it and it's less. And let's get back to full screen now. So here's to close the file and you have your options save don't save cancel which is what we're going to do since i don't want to do that right now okay now let's get rid of the canvas positioner and move on open up the stickers pod here you can select new and create any stickers that you want here uh, here's art clippings brush heads character glossy hair and fur nature and let's close that and get back to that later i'll go with stencils uh, here's where you put your favorites, uh, buttons, comic, festive, friskets, fine. Oh, and the friskets are French curves, which I like to use in the real world, so I'll enjoy them in the digital world also, hopefully. Uh, gradients, grids, and you get the gist of this. So we'll get back to this later in more detail. So let's go to settings pod, open that, and the panel opens up for layers because no tool is selected. So I'll select the tool. And you see that the settings change. So the tool I selected was pencil, it was in green, and all the settings I can adjust here. And again, we'll get into that later. Okay, so pencil was the tool that I selected, and it has presets already with that. So again, we'll go into this more in depth. Now let's look at the selection tool. Right now I have hard freehand selected. And again, that's one of the presets. So here you see hard freehand, so let me choose hard circle. And first let me delete that so we can see hard circle in action. Okay, that's better. Let me close that. And now I can use the transform tool and I can move that around. Well, once I get to correct pan, uh, layer selected, I can move that around. Okay, everything's correct. And now let's move this around. Okay, so now I can move the selection around any place on the canvas. And because it's a transform tool, I can also scale it as well as rotate it. So let me apply this transformation. And I'm just right clicking uh, to access that sub menu. Here's a color sampler. Uh, not much like sample in black and white. Uh, let's you go to the fill tool and fill this with some color and now let's move down to the type tool 
And let's type something. What shall I type? Let's type what I'm doing. This is an art rage demo. Okay, simple enough. Now uh, to select all. Well, actually, I don't want to select all. I want to just select a type. So I would do that and change the color of the type. And voila. Now I can go back to the transform tool and the type is movable, scalable, and rotatable also. So I can do uh, what I want with this. So let's leave that for now and go to the samples pod. This is where I put colors that I've mixed that I want to uh, keep track of. And this is the layers uh, panel that's open. And also I can pull this uh, from here to extend it so I can see what's there, close it to pod. Okay, so about the tracing pod and select the image file. And it could be any image file, a drawing, clip art, photograph. So let me uh, make these layers invisible so we can see what's going on. So here you can see a translucent image just below the canvas. And so you will be tracing on the actual canvas or whatever layer you prefer. Now let's um, uh, change the opacity. So this way you can make it however you want to fit your needs so you can see better what you want to trace. So let's clear this. Open up the reference pod. And again, you can choose any image file. And it opens up a small thumbnail that you can use to reference while you're drawing. So if I want to keep this face consistent, then I would keep that there. Uh, I can zoom in on it using the magnifying tool, move it using the directional tool you know, within there. So let's hide this reference. Uh, so I can make all of the panels into pods. So if I only have one screen to work with and not a dual monitor setup, this will give me some more real estate uh, to use. So let me put everything back uh, the way it was. Open up my layers, uh, make this visible again. Now, one of the cool features I like about ArtRage is that I don't have to make everything move or disappear because while the brush is moving, as you can see, the panels and the pods move out of the way. <laughs> I think this is one of the coolest features of ArtRage because it's so annoying to have my flow disturbed or have my stroke interrupted because I've reached a panel that's in the way or a toolbar. So again, I could use return to move it all everything out the way at once. Um, but just using this tool is just great, you know, to pause my other way by itself. But if I have everything gone, I can bring them back individually. So I can select a shortcut key to bring back uh, a panel. So here's a color sample, Command Option W. Also, I can use Command Option O to bring up the settings and bring everything back uh, by pressing the return bar. So. Uh, as I explained earlier, um, there are many ways to do the same thing. So here you can just press minus and get rid of all of the pods in the panels. So here the minus here. And also I told you that you can uh, that this is docked. So now you can right click and tear off the edge. So now it's not docked anymore, but you still have access to all the menus, as you can see by the green highlights. And just grab the left edge and I can move that around. And put that anywhere uh, I want. So now let me right click and stick that back to the edge. Now also I can right click and make this smaller. I can right click again, the sub menu comes up and I can make that larger. So you have a lot of flexibility in the menu bar, return it to normal size and put this where you want. So again, if you don't have a dual monitor set up, or even if you do, with a dual monitor or one monitor, you have lots of options for, for moving the panels and the pods around you know, to suit your taste. So you're not locked down by what, what's presented in the default. Okay, that's it for the interface for today. I'm going to cover a little bit more of some things I didn't cover here. Uh, so that'll be next time.
And I want to thank everyone who sent in their comments and private messages. I answered them all. And I'm going to continue to answer everything you send me. So please, please keep them coming. I, I'm glad everyone's enjoying the series. So uh, let's go out and just create. Have a great day. And everyone, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.